Good morning. Is anybody out there? <clears throat> Good morning. Is it working? Is it working? Hi, LeBron, Howard. Hello, LeBron. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Marsha. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Adeline. Hello. Good morning, Linda Wong. Good morning. Good morning, Sabina. Hello, good to see you. Hi, Ross, how it's in? Yo, hey, Victor. <clears throat> good morning. Hi, Rekha. Hi, Fraser. Hey, buddy. Good morning, Rareni. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> good morning, Peter. Good to see you. Good morning, Vivian. Hi. Yes, hi, Adeline. Good to see you too. Hi, Summer. Hi. Hi, Jillian. Happy Monday. Yeah. Hi, Minnie. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Shawnee. Conduit Road, just up there. Great. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Tanya. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Can I give it a couple more for roll call? Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Good. Great to see you. Hi, Sharifa. Hello. See if you say hello. I say hello. I got all the names. Hi, Rupert. Hi, Rupert. <laughs> Hi, Linda and Rupert. Hi, Christy. <clears throat> yeah. Hi, Minnie. Good morning. Good morning from Yun Long. Awesome. Hey, Eric. You're back. Good, buddy. Good, good, good. Okay, so um, good morning, Esther. This is a level one, um, and uh, we have one hour. Hi, Soraya. Hi, Hui Lim. Um, we have one hour. Hi, Pansy. Hello. Um, I'm going to use, hi, Bhavana. I'm going to use two blocks, two blankets, and one strap. Hey, Lawrence J. Hey, buddy. Um, so two blocks, two blankets, one strap. You can get away with not doing, um, not having any of the props, but I'll use them and then I'll show you. You can learn how if you don't know how. Hi, Su Ling. Okay, so if you want, hi, Almond Wong. Almond Wong, the famous Almond Wong, so cool. Um, hi, Angel Han. Um, if you want, you can swipe that way and get rid of the comments so that you can see it more. Hi, Fly. Um, oh, good, Rupert Safi, awesome, good, Linda. Um, you can swipe to get the comments off. I can't. I'm going to leave them on so y y you can move them so that you can see the whole screen if you want. Okay? Okay, so we're going to do a level one. Just uh, a nice uh, 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 opening practice. So here we go. Elizabeth Cooper. There you are too. Good, good. Okay. Okay, you can fold your legs to start with. Fold your hands. Close your eyes. Line your spine with the axes of the universe. We chant three ohms. Take a deep breath in. Deep inhale, lift your chest. As you exhale, bow your forehead. 
with thanks for this practice this time and with reverence to the wisdom of yoga namaste <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so we can begin lying down and lie down stretch your legs out relax your arms out whole body releases arms over your head now stretch your left leg and your right arm. So you stretch in two directions through the pelvis. And release. Stretch your right leg and left arm. Right leg, left arm. Stretch through the pelvis. And release. Join your feet, hook your thumbs, stretch your whole body. And release. Bend and hold your right shin, both hands. Pavana Muktasana. Deepen your breath. And release. Left leg bends, hold the shin. And release. Hook your thumbs and join your feet. Stretch your whole body. Arms and legs, full stretch. And release. Bend your knees, hold your shins. <clears throat> Roll to your right, sit up. Take your belt. <clears throat> Put a belt around your ankle if you have one. Cinch it tight, buckle on the back of the ankle, swing the legs around, come to Vajrasana. Take one blanket and put the blanket under your knees. This is Foladrom who did that. <clears throat> I think that I did. Okay, and put the blanket behind your knees. Sit. Interlace the fingers, open your palms, stretch your arms up, full stretch up. Lift the trunk, stretch the arms. Stretch the elbows and push the knuckles of your hands above the wrists. Good, bring the arms down, switch the interlace, open the palms, stretch your arms up. <coughs> Push your buttock bones forward, lift the low back. Stretch the arms. Bring the arms down. Good. Take the blanket out, take the belt off. <clears throat> okay. Separate your feet, sit between your heels. Sit between the heels, Virasana. Now, if you need to use a blanket to sit on or a block to sit on, it's fine. You can sit on a block, easy. <clears throat> Pull your big toes closer. Inhale, take your arms up. Stretch your arms straight, lift the trunk. Now, turn to the right. Bring the hands down. Now, Move your buttock bones forward and lift your lumbar up and then turn, relax the belly to turn the belly, turn the upper back. Walk the right hand further back. Good, inhale center. Turn to the left. Exhale, hands down. Right hand pulls up against the left shin. Walk the left hand back more. Now, buttock bones forward, lift the lumbar, roll the belly. Roll the upper back. Inhale, center, arms go up, and exhale, release. Good. Downward dog, hop back. Hands shoulder width, feet, sh the big toes as wide as the thumbs. Stretch your arms full, stretch your legs full. 
Deepen your breath. Stretch the arms all the way. Hop forward, Uttanasana, feet apart, exhale, bow. Firm the legs, shift your buttock forward so you're more on the toe side. Squeeze the knees, hold the elbows, release the trunk. Let the trunk release over the legs. Relax the abdomen, but deepen your breath. Switch the elbow hold, firm the legs, relax the abdomen. Good, inhale, come up, arms overhead, exhale, release. Okay, sit down, take your legs wide apart, upavishta. So the legs go apart, buttock on the back edge, feet on the front edge. So you have a distance, so the leg distance is indicated by the mat, the width of the mat. Place the hands behind the hips, lift the spine, make the legs very strong. You can sit on a blanket if you don't have your legs straight or if the lower back is rounded. Inhale your arms up, turn to the right, come forward halfway. Keep the arms with the ears, turn the belly, then with the left hand hold the outer foot. Make the legs firm down, but lift the lower back up and then roll the belly over the right thigh. Roll the belly over the right thigh, roll the trunk. Turn from the left side, turn the chest up and away from the right leg. Inhale, center, arms go up. Turn to the left, halfway down. Keep the arms with the ears, then hold the outer foot. Lift up. Keep the right outer thigh down, right outer hip down, but lift the low back and then roll the abdomen and roll the ribs, roll the upper back. You want to turn the trunk up and away from the left leg, turn. Good, inhale center, arms go up, exhale release the hands. Adjust the legs, so the inner thighs go down, firm the legs solid, hands to the floor behind you, fingers point forward, lift the spine, keep the legs super long, stretch the inner legs very long to the inner feet, lift the trunk, inhale arms up, turn to the right and come forward halfway, catch the outer foot and again lift away from the, left, the right leg, lift, turn the belly, turn the trunk, keep the left thigh down but lift the trunk and turn. Then exhale, bend the left elbow and come forward. As you do, keep extending through the legs. Turn the trunk over the right leg and come down. Deepen the breath, lengthen the legs and come down. Bring the trunk over the right leg. Slide the sternum forward. Keep the legs extending. And you can hold the foot with both hands. Bring the upper back down, deepen your breath. Inhale, come up, arms up, turn to the left. Turn, forward halfway, halfway, then catch the foot. Lift the trunk, keep the right leg down, lift the abdomen and the low back, turn. Pull the chest away from the left leg, lifting and turning. Then bend the elbow, exhale and bow. As you come forward, grow the leg bones longer. Stretch the leg bones longer. As you come forward, <clears throat> turn the trunk more to the left. Turn, let the upper back come down. Let the upper back come down. Bow deeply. Inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale and release. Lift your knees, bring your feet together, Baddha Konasana. Okay, you can sit on a blanket. You can sit on a blanket. <clears throat> Make your, your hips lift slightly. Okay. 
and then lean to the left. Put your left arm on your thigh and anchor the leg down. Anchor the thigh down. Then use your right hand and encourage the right leg the other way. Oh. And then switch sides. Anchor the right leg and encourage the left leg the other way. Good, then come to center. And then really gently go forward, as much or as little, not stressful, no pressure on the knee, relax the knees. You just go forward, relax the abdomen, come forward. Relax the abdomen, lengthen the trunk. Don't worry about how far down you go. Stretch from the inner groin to the inner knee. Come back up, lift the knees, move the blanket, stand up, arms up, and exhale, release. Okay, now <clears throat> taking one block between your thighs, feet together, one block between the thighs, feet together. Interlace the fingers, stretch the arms up, full stretch. And then go to the right. Push through the arms and make the, the right side trunk, the right side ribs longer from the right hip. Longer from the right hip. And then come down. Lengthen, pull with the right arm, lengthen, push the knuckles of the hands, and then come down. Inhale, come up, all the way up and to the left. Again, push the knuckles with the hands, lengthen the left side, lengthen the left side. And come down. Keep the length as you come down deeper. Inhale, come up and release. <clears throat> Take your arms overhead, touch the back of the hands. Take the right arm down, touch your spine with the back of the right hand, and then the left arm over and catch the hands. So you, inner, you, you curl the fingers to get a good grip. Yeah, curl the fingers. So go Mukasana. <clears throat> right side chest lifts up. Yeah, so you be mindful not to close the right side chest. Then release the arms. Inhale your arms overhead to the back of the hands and do the left arm under and the right arm over. Curl the fingers to get a good grip. Top hand, bottom hand, get a good grip. And lifting the trunk, the left side chest stays lifted. Relax the shoulder joints, but hands grip strongly. Good, and then release. Interlace the other way, turn the palm, stretch your arms up. Oh, good shoulders. Stretch the arms up and go to the right. Push the knuckles, stretch the right side and come lower. Keep the legs moving, to, the hips moving to the left, but lengthen the right side trunk, stretch the arms and come down. Good, and he'll come up, stretch up, go to the left, push the knuckles, open the finger bones, the knuckle bones. Bump your hips to the right, bump your hips to the right, stretch the arms, 
and come down. Inhale, come up, and exhale, release. Voila. Put your bricks shoulder width apart. Put your bricks shoulder width apart, and then feet together. Yeah, inhale, stretch your arms up. Lift, exhale, bow. Hold the ankles, bow yourself in. Place the hands on the bricks, step back down, or dog pose, full stretch, full stretch. Good, now hop forward, exhale, bow. Inhale, come up, arms up, and then exhale, release. Again, inhale, stretch up, lift, exhale, bow, hold the ankles. Downward dog, hop back, full stretch, arms and legs. The legs go back very firmly. Make the inner heels widen. Hop forward, exhale, bow. Inhale, come all the way up, and exhale, release. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Down dog. Ha. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. <clears throat> now, left leg behind the right leg, go mugasana. So, you put the left foot over to the right side. Sit down between your feet. Between your feet. Lift the trunk upwards. And then exhale, bow. Walk your hands forward, let the trunk come over the legs. Relax the pelvis, the glutes, deep in your breath. Relax the abdomen, lengthen and let your trunk come down. Come back up, roll forward, and switch. Go Mukha, other side. So the right foot's out to the left. And then sit between your feet. Lift the trunk upwards, and then go forward. Deepen the breath, relaxing the glutes, relaxing the pelvis. Let the trunk come down. Good, come back up. Roll forward to your hands and bring your knees together. Okay, take your bricks, put them beside you. Okay, so now <clears throat> take the bricks to the highest point or the second highest point and stand on your knees. Take your right shin across the back of the left knee and then bring your feet together and sit on the feet. And this is Simhasan 1. So my right knee is lifted, feet are together. Hands on the knees, arms straight. Stretch the tip of the tongue to the tip of the chin and bring your eyes to the tip of your nose. Simhasan. Two more. One more. Hands on the bricks and then lift up. Take the feet up, take the legs up, push the hands on the bricks and bring the legs up and then sit back down. One more time, same side. This time, lift the pelvis to the height of the shoulders. Go up, all the way round the back. Round the back, push the arms, lift the hips. Good, come back down, knees together, sit. Come up and take your left shin behind the back of the right knee, feet together, and sit down on the feet so that, see the left knee's up. Sit on the, the feet. Hands on the knees, arms straight. Tip of the tongue, tip of the chin, eyes to the nose. Come on. One more. Hands on the bricks. First, just take the legs up, lift the chest up. Feet up, legs up, legs up. 
down, stay. Same side again, but now take the legs up and lift the hips to the height of the shoulders. Little loss and go up. Round the back and lift the pelvis. Round and lift, up and down. Knees together, sit, put the bricks as we had them. Downward dog. Full stretch, arms straight, extend, full. Hop forward, exhale back. Inhale, come up, arms up, exhale and release. Okay. <clears throat> Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, Uttanasana, hold the ankles. Hands on the bricks, downward dog. Hop back, full stretch, inner heels apart. Now, upward dog, arms stay straight. Point your feet, chest through, lift up. Downward dog, all the way back, inner heels wide, legs straight. Hop, exhale back. Inhale, come up. Arms up and exhale, release. Again, inhale. Exhale, hold the ankles. Downward dog. Upward dog. Downward dog. Hop. Hold the ankles. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. One more, inhale. Exhale. Downward dog, upward dog, downward dog, hook, Uttanasana, inhale arms up, exhale release, good, lie down, <coughs> take your belt, Sukta Parangashtasana, Number one, so the belt goes around the right foot and you hold. Both legs straight. Keep the left leg on the floor, but pull the right leg a little closer. Just a little bit. Then release. Switch sides. Left leg up, right leg down. Again, Sukta Padangshtasana. Start just easy. Left leg straight up. We want the right leg to go down all the way. Turn both thighs in. Relax your abdomen. Deepen your breath. Now, keep the leg straight, the right leg on the floor. Bend the elbow, bring the leg a little closer. And release. Both legs up, belt over both feet. Pull down, get the legs strong. Turn the, the thighs in. Then keep the legs, release the belt. Take the arms overhead, hook your thumbs. Stretch the arms straight, lower back touches the floor. Lower the right leg almost to the floor with both legs straight. Keep the lower back flat, abdomen moves towards the lower back. Bring the right leg up, bring the left leg down, almost to the floor. Work the lower back flat, abdomen back, leg straight. Left leg up, right leg down. Right leg up and left leg down. Left leg up, pause. Switch the hook of the thumbs, lower the legs 30 degrees. Lower the legs 60. Almost to the floor. Bend the knees, legs up. One third down, keep the legs in the low back flat. Two thirds. Almost to the floor, bend the knees, legs up. One third, low back flat, two thirds, abdomen down, almost to the floor, bend the knees, legs up. Two more, 
One third, two thirds, almost touching, bend the knees, legs up. One third, two third, almost touching, bend the knees, legs up, hold the shins. Good. Roll to your side, sit up. Take one blanket, put the blanket down just like this, fold it in half so you can put your heels on the blanket. Take a brick, put it between your thighs. So the heels are up on a folded blanket or a rolled blanket and the, the, the brick between the top of the thighs. Take your arms up, hook your thumbs, stretch your arms straight. Make the, the arms vertical, make the chest vertical so practice as if you were, it's like you're holding on to a bar on the ceiling so your whole trunk stays vertical. Then bend the knees, Utkatasana. Use the arms to pull the trunk vertical, pull up. Shoulder blades forward. Bring the hips to the height of your knees. Buttock bones forward. Lift the trunk. Make your arms stretch straight up. Arms stretch straight up. Sit to the height of the knees. Come on. Sit to the height of the knees. Buttock bones forward. Lift the trunk. Come back up. Release the arms. Okay, let's do it again. Ukatasana. Arms up. Hook the other thumb behind. Hold the bar on the ceiling that's not there, although I do have bars, but you hold that so you get the shoulder blades forward, arms up, bend the knees. Take the shoulder blades forward, take the shoulder blades. Now pull up with the arms, pull up, sit the hips, pull up with the arms, buttock bones forward, lift the trunk, chest up, shoulder blades, arms straight, sit, come on, sit, stand up and release. Good, release the brick, move the blanket. Actually, sorry, put the brick shoulder width. Okay, feet together. Here we go, inhale, exhale, Uttanasana. Downward dog, hop back. Okay, now come to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog, arms straight, legs straight. Move the chest forward and up. Downward dog, exhale. Hop forward, exhale, bow. Inhale, come up, arms up, and exhale, release. Okay, again, inhale, exhale. Downward dog, pop back. Okay. Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Hop forward, exhale, bow. Inhale, come up, and exhale, release. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Downward up. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Hop. Exhale. Inhale, come up. And exhale, release. Okay, very good. Move the bricks. Move the bricks. Okay. <clears throat> Lie down, take your right leg over the left leg right leg over the left leg, and hold your left shin. So it's like Gomukhasana, but you're lying down. It's like Gomukhasana, but you're lying down. Relax the groin. And then switch. So the left leg over the right, hold the right shin. And release. Okay, now take your right leg over your left leg and do Gardasana. Take your right foot behind the left ankle. Ugh. Slide the foot to Gardasana. Then take your arms over your head, hook your thumbs. Now flex the feet so the heels touch the floor. Then stretch the arms, pull with your thumbs. Slide your heels away from your buttock and begin to stretch the left leg straight without losing the right foot. Stretch the legs longer. Stretch the legs longer. Pull with the thumbs, lengthen the spine. Good, and release. Switch. Take your left leg over your right leg like Garuda. Slide the left foot behind the right ankle. Arms overhead. Hook the other thumb under, flex the feet, slide the heels away from the pelvis. And 
as you do, stretch the right leg straighter without losing the left foot. Use the arms, pull. Use the arms, pull. And release. Bend the knees, hold the shins. Take your belt, legs up. Take the loop over both feet again. Stretch the legs full. Stretch the legs full. Get a good action in the legs. Then you lose the belt. Let's just get the legs going again. Arms overhead, hook your thumbs. Lower the legs, almost touching and back up. We do that between 10 to 15 times, keeping your low back flat on the floor, the abdomen flat on the floor. Stretch the arms. Yeah, you're gonna go at your own pace. The faster, the better without losing the low back. Urdhva Prasarita Padasana. Let's do 10 more. Bend the knees, hold the shins, roll to your side, stand up. Ooh, stand up. <clears throat> arms overhead, right arm under the left arm, eagle position arms with the elbows up. Okay, so now thumbs point towards the face, take the elbows up. Bend the knees, take your right leg over your left leg, eagle pose. Sit your hips down and lift your elbows up. So the trunk stays elevated. Stand the arms up, sit the hips deeply. Sit down, now put the front of the right ankle against the back of the left ankle. Touch, no gap. Turn the arms, take the elbows higher. Sit deeply, lift the trunk. Good, feet together, arms up. Left arm under, twist the arms, elbows up. Bend the knees, sit, left leg over. Hook the foot. Now, as the elbows go up, sit your pelvis down, sit your pelvis down. Take the trunk up, take the elbows up, look up. Sit the, sit the pelvis, sit the pelvis, sit the pelvis, elbows up. Good, feet together, arms up, exhale and release. Put the bricks shoulder width apart. Feet together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana, hold the ankles. Down dog, jump. Chaturanga, whoop, upward dog, downward dog, hop, exhale, inhale, exhale, again, inhale, exhale, down dog, jump, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, hop, inhale, and Tadasana, one more, inhale, exhale, down dog, Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, hop, exhale, inhale, exhale, release, good, lie down, take your belt, and we're going to make the belt a small loop, so you go, So you can make it as you know, small or long as necessary for you. And then you take your loop over the right foot and the right hand holds the loop. Slide your left leg out so the left foot's slightly off the mat with both legs straight, then you open the right leg. As the right leg opens, maintain both legs straight but the back of the left pelvis stays on the floor. 
So don't tip the pelvis to the right. So you have to really work. Relax the abdomen. Deepen the breath. Come back up. Hold the loop both hands and pull the leg a little closer. And release. Switch sides. Left foot, left hand. Slide the right foot to the right so the foot's just slightly off the mat. And then you open the left leg to the left. Relax the abdomen, keep the legs long. Come back up, hold the loop both hands, pull the leg in a little closer, and release. Hug your knees to your chest, roll up, stand up. Okay, use the belt if you need, use the belt if you need. So similarly, you can use this coiled belt. Alternatively, feet together, Bend your right knee and you hold your big toe or the outer edge of your foot. Left leg straight, right leg forward. Dita Asta Pangrishtasana. Now, <clears throat> work on the front of both thighs, moving to the hamstrings. Don't let the left hip fall out. Pull it in, move the front thighs back and lift the trunk. the knee and release. <clears throat> other side, Utita Asta, use the belt loop to hold or the big toe or the outer foot. Left leg straight. Now, don't let the right outer hip collapse to the right. Suck the outer thigh and outer hip in, move the center thighs towards the hamstrings, lift the trunk. We want the inner edge of the right foot to be heavier than the outer edge. Inner edge of the right foot, it's not easy. Lift the trunk. Bend the knee and release. First side again, right side. Hold the right foot or use the belt. Now, right leg out to the right, left arm out to the left. Again, the, the outer left hip, don't let it collapse to the left. Suck it in, but move the back of the right buttock forward. Open the chest. Bend the knee and release. Left side. Bend and hold the left foot. Left leg out, right arm out. Don't let the right hip collapse out to the side. Move the left buttock forward. Open the chest. Bend the knee and release. Good. Bring the bricks. Here we go. Feet together. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Hold the ankles. Chaturanga, hop. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Hop, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, again. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hold the ankles. Chaturanga, jump back. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Hop, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, one more, inhale. Exhale, hold the ankles, chaturanga, hop, up dog, exhale, down dog, jump, exhale, inhale, exhale, release, good. Take one break, put it between your thighs. Monday morning, arms overhead, touch the back of your hands, 
and you do reverse prayer. Fold the hands together. Now, move the brick back by turning the thighs in, but then keeping the brick back, touch the back, the back, the back of the thighs to the brick as well. Lift the spine. Fold the palms together. Good, and release. Take the brick out. Take your bricks, put them so you have a wide stance for the bricks, and then stand on the bricks. If, if you're not comfortable standing on the bricks, do stand on the floor. You put the bricks, legs straight, exhale, bow for prasarita. Legs firm, so you're standing on the inner edge of the bricks. Again, if that's too much, then you just stand on the floor. We use this as a way of keeping good distance, but getting the head closer. So it increases the distance of the hips and the floor, the head and the floor, so you can come down more. Firm the legs. Relax the abdomen. Let the trunk come down. Bend the elbows. Bring the head towards the floor. Keep the legs straight. Bring the trunk down. Good. Come back up. Step the feet together. And release. Okay. <clears throat> Put the bricks, feet together. Inhale, stretch up, and exhale, bow. Hold the ankles. Hop to dog pose, full stretch. Come forward to chaturanga and lie down. Move the bricks. Okay, now <clears throat> tuck your toes under your feet like chaturanga. So the feet tuck under, walk the feet closer, and then take your arms forward. If you're having trouble getting your arms off the floor here, you can put the bricks, put your wrists on the bricks like this, or at any height you like. Now, stretch the legs straight till the thighs come off the floor. It's not easy. Stretch the thighs off the floor, keep the toes tucked. Then lift the trunk and take your arms up as much or as little as you can. Now, legs straight, push the heels back, lift the thighs up, take the arms up and spread your shoulder blades across the upper back. Lift the chest. Good, come back down and release. Here we're gonna do it two more times. Tuck your toes under your feet, legs straight. Take your thighs off the floor. Now, take your arms off the floor. So the pelvic bones push to the floor, thighs off the floor. Now lift the arms, spread the shoulder blades across the back, and lift up. Lift up. Good, and come down. Okay, we'll do, let's do that one more time. Legs straight, the heels stretch back as if they're pushing the wall, keeping the legs, the thighs off the floor. That's the game. Take your arms up. Spread the shoulder blades across the back. Legs straight, lift the trunk up, up, arms up. Good, and come down. Release completely. Whew. Okay, bend your knees and hold your ankles. Flex your feet, flex your feet. Yeah, now keep the knees down and just lift your chest up. So it's just like a modified Dhanurasana. Push the shins back. Keep the knees down, coil the chest up. Buttock bones down, knees down, but the chest goes up. Good, and come down. Release the legs for a moment. <clears throat> Okay, now hold the tops of the feet. Feet pointed this time. Take the legs up. Let's go. Take the thighs up. Let's go. Point the feet. Take the legs up. Now as the legs go up, lift your ribs up. Lift your chest up. 
Take your chin up. The thighs lift off the floor. Push your shins. The thighs lift up and the bottom rib lifts off the floor as well. Lift the chest, look up. Push the legs maximum and hold the height. Hold it. Coil. Good, and come down. <clears throat> come to your hands and knees and then downward dog. Step your feet wide to the mat. Stretch the whole body. Turn your heels out, toes in, and move the thighs back as much as you can. Stretch this one. Good. Come to your knees, top of your mat. Knees apart, feet apart. <clears throat> knees apart, feet apart. Make the feet squish to the floor. The fronts of the feet touch the floor. So it's quite, quite strong contact. Thumbs on the sacrum, push the sacrum forward, buttock bones forward, and lean back. Push the pelvic bones forward and lean back as much as you can. Then the hands to the feet, thumbs outside. As you push the buttock bones forward, lift the upper back towards the ceiling. Make the back ribs lift away from the floor. How much can you lift the back ribs? Push the pelvic bones forward, head back. Breathe in. Lift the back ribs up. Come up, inhale, feet together, sit on the heels, knees together, feet together. Interlace the fingers and turn the palms. Stretch your arms up. Now, the buttock bones move forward. Lift the lumbar on the back of the body. Lift the back of the rib cage away from the pelvis. So they're slightly rounding forward, not a lot, but get the length on the back of the body. Stretch the whole trunk. Good, and release. Bring your knees apart. Feet apart. Ustrasa, one more time. Feet down, chin down, buttock bones forward. Lean back. Lean back. Hands to the feet. Press the feet down. Press the back ribs up. Buttock bones forward, head back. Breathe deeply. Open your throat, head back. Now lift the back ribs up as much as you can. Lift the back ribs up. Press the buttock bones forward. Good, come up, feet together, sit, knees together. Feet together, knees together. Interlace the other finger, turn the palms forward, stretch the arms, and go up. Again, the buttock bones go forward and lift the lumbar. <clears throat> stretch the arms maximum. Lift the back ribs. Good, and release. Separate the knees, feet together, bow forward, forehead on the floor. Take the arms beside you. Come up, bring your knees together, and again, bow forward, arms beside you. Come up, downward dog. Bring your heels apart, stretch your whole body. Walk your hands back. Now keep your toes turned in, heels out. And then as you exhale, release the trunk over, relax the abdomen. Make the legs firm. Take your left hand to your right ankle, slide the belly over. Switch, right hand, left ankle. Slide the belly over. First side again, slide over. Forehead to the outer right shin. Release and switch. Forehead to the outer left shin. Center. Good, come to your knees, cross your legs, and lie down. <clears throat> Take your belt, make a small loop. Small loop. And with the loop, hold your right foot just like this. Sutta Bhattagashtasana one. Now bend your right knee out to the side. 
and hold the right foot with the left hand. Bring your right foot toward your left shoulder. Now open the right thigh away from the floor, but bring your foot closer. The next position is the head goes under the right elbow, and you put your head into the right elbow crease. Thigh back, Sutta Padangasthasana 2. Then release right leg straight, right arm straight, and open to the right lateral. Open the leg out. Come back up, pull the leg in, and release. Switch sides, left leg up, both legs straight. So number one. Then bend the left knee out to the left, hold the foot with the right hand. Bring the, right, the left foot towards the right shoulder. The left thigh moves away from the floor, away from the left trunk. Then you take your head under the left elbow for the full position if you want, and you lean back, head into the elbow. Sutta Padangasthasana, number two, lean back. Then left leg straight again, left arm straight, open to the left. Bring the leg back up, bring the leg in a little closer, and release. Hug your knees, roll up, and sit up. Take one blanket, <clears throat> sit knees together, feet together, and put a blanket outside your right foot. Sit on the blanket to the right, take the left foot over your right. So the left foot goes over the right arch. Turn to the right, left hand to your right thigh, turn. Full pose, right arm behind, hold the left bicep. Turn the chest to the right, open, lift the sternum up. And then as you turn to the right, bring your chin to the left shoulder. And release, good. Switch the blanket to the other side. Move the hips to the left, take your right foot over the left arch. Turn to the left for the twist. Full pose, left hand holds right bicep. Right hand holds left thigh. Turn the trunk to the left. Lift the sternum, turn then chin to the right shoulder. Remember the biceps flow down towards the elbows. Turn the chest. Good, and release. Center, you can sit on a blanket. It's nice to have that. Sometimes you just, even though you don't need it, you can apply yourself with these basic modifications. Buttock bones on the blanket. We're going to do Pachimottanasana. If you, can, if you can reach past the feet, use some bricks. Otherwise, you can use a belt for the feet, but we want the legs to be straight. Pelvis elevated. Inhale, stretch up. Reach forward and catch. Relax the abdomen. Let the trunk come forward and down. Deepen your breath. Relax the abdomen, deepen your breath. Let the trunk come all the way down. Good, inhale and come all the way up. Voila. It's time for Shavasana, and then the coffee, and then the breakfast, and then the, le the rest. I hope this was valuable. I hope you feel good. I hope this worked. Hi, Randy. Um, so, hi, Jason. So, I wish you guys a good Shavasana. Do like two, three, four, five minutes. And then um, I will see you later. I teach level two at 6 p.m. Or I teach tomorrow, 9.30 yoga talk and level two at 10. Okay, stay, stay sane, stay well rested, eat well, read good things. And thank you for joining me for the yoga. Okay.
Bye, guys.